Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube. I am Lane Hillbilly and I run a project called Frozen Walrus. Um, we have a new exciting feature coming in called X Walrus and I want to attempt to be able to show you and represent uh, how good for, for the ecosystem this really is. Um, and so I'm going to show you the actual D app that will be live tonight. And then I'm also going to show you some of the potentials of what X Walrus can do for the Frozen Walrus ecosystem. Alright guys, so I already have documentation on X Walrus. So if you want, you can go ahead and view those at docs.frozenwalrus.finance. Uh, I can put a link in the description. Uh, I just want to kind of go over the actual topics, the risk versus reward ratio of what X Walrus is. Um, and then we can discuss what the D app looks like and how you're going to interact with it. Um, so X Walrus is an illiquid asset that you exchange or mint your Walrus into. So you'll take your Walrus supply in your wallet and you will mint through a D app that I'll show you. Um, and you'll make X Walrus. Now the important thing to know and the biggest risk up front is that currently right now there is no redeeming back into walrus uh, and that's because of what happens to the walrus when you mint into x walrus so it's not collateralized with any you know any backing um, and so you know whenever you mint one x walrus 25 percent of the walrus used goes to a burn address which means it's permanently gone it's a supply sink which is necessary for a contraction phase um, so that means that as more people mint, uh, more walrus is burned, and there's another cool feature that's going to help out even more, uh, and we can discuss that when we talk about it. But let's just read the description and then go from there. So X Walrus is an illiquid asset that will provide new utility to the walrus token. X Walrus will launch at a one-to-one -one mint rate. One walrus will mint at one X Walrus, and will logarithmically go up in index exchange rate for walrus to X Walrus based on total supply of X Walrus. And so what that means is, Early mentors of X Walrus will actually be putting less Walrus in to get more X Walrus. And over time, as more minting of X Walrus happens, X Walrus price, and by price I mean index of how expensive it is to mint, uh, X Walrus will go up. So when you first start, it'll be one Walrus will equal one X Walrus. And then maybe next week after there's been 100,000 mints of X Walrus, it may be 1.2 Walrus. Uh, will equal every one X walrus. And that is so that early mentors, it kind of gives you that urgency to want to mint in. It's a game file mechanic. Um, and so, and also it's also really good for us because as more walrus it costs to burn and make X walrus, the more walrus is burned, right? So at 1.2 walrus or 1.25 walrus um, for one X walrus, it would take 0.25 walrus out of circulation, whereas if it was one walrus for one X walrus, it would take much less of the supply. So what I'm trying to say is over time, the burn rates will get bigger and it'll be more expensive to mint out X walrus. So the earlier minters of X walrus will actually have the most to gain because you already got your security, let's say 1.1 walrus uh, for each X walrus. Um, and then people are minting on top of you uh, it becomes more expensive, so there's less X walrus available to make eventually because there's only an X amount of supply of walrus because we're not printing right now, right? Um, and because we're not printing, um, this is why it's the perfect time to implement this is because we have an influx of supply and not enough liquidity to meet that demand. And to be able to do that, we have to over time reduce the supply. And so this is a really good way to do it. Um, and so... Whenever you mint, of course, 25% of that walrus is burned, which means, again, you have no access to it. No one has access to it. 75% is sent to a reward contract. So the second part of what X walrus does is it takes that walrus, 75% of it. So if you mint it with one walrus, 75% being 0.75 of that walrus will go to a reward contract. And that reward contract is going to pay out WShareUSDC.ELP providers. Um, so if you are a Walrus Share USDC liquidity provider, you will now have a new farm on our local uh, farm page. And so there's always going to be a way to get Walrus, and it's recycling the Walrus that is already being used, and there's already a reduced supply. So some may say, oh, aren't we exposing the, the, you know, the ecosystem to more Walrus? No, we're actually exposing it to less Walrus because to get into X Walrus to even make this minting happen, there has to be a reduction in the supply of walrus. 
Uh, and so that's a really cool game file mechanic and also a way for walrus share to hold value and always yield walrus. Now, I can't say that the walrus will be a heavy um, will be a heavy pool. It, it's completely dependent on how many mentors there are. Uh, but the more mentors, the more access to walrus we will get. Um, let's see, what else do we have in this documentation? So I, I guess it's good to talk about the purpose. Uh, walrus now has value to become the highest allocated pool. Oh, that is important. X walrus will have a single stake pool um, that you can put your X walrus and stake it with no liquidity. Um, and you will get the highest allocations of walrus share, which means you will be in the highest paying farm for walrus share. So that's really good. Um, and that is, again, to, to further the game pie mechanics and also pay you for your risk that you're taking and becoming illiquid. Similar to how we have bond staking. Uh, X walrus index and constant rise means there's always no better time to mint in than right now giving positive price action to walrus along with a permanent supply decrease. Because as, as walrus, X walrus gets more expensive, people are going to want to buy into X walrus, or that is the hope, of course. Um, and, you know, by doing so, it's going to further perpetuate the burn that X walrus can maintain. Um, and again, constantly get higher and higher and higher. Now, it is logarithmically, so it does have a, like a cap. Not a cap, but it does start tapering off so that it'll go almost like a curve, right? It, it, it'll kind of just dip over and then it'll eventually not raise to the same rates that it is currently. Um, so the first, you know, mentors will of course raise it up substantially. And then towards the end in two or three months, of course the price will not start going up as drastic because it's based on the previous price uh, of Walrus or of X Walrus. So if it's 1.25 Walrus to convert into X Walrus, um, then maybe the next week it could be 1.3. Uh, rather than you know 1.35 so it'll slow down over time uh, and that's just so that it doesn't get too expensive to mint into x walrus so that it's always a lucrative exchange for you as a user uh, w share usdc.e pool will now constantly yield walrus and as a holder of this lp it will be extremely beneficial allowing users to compound early walrus into x walrus again of course we we assume that we have to assume that some of this walrus hitting into the contract for the rewards for the you know for the farm of walrus share will actually go back into minting x walrus and further again perpetuate the cycle of burning more walrus uh, walrus share can now gain walrus from boardroom and when it's not printing there is now opportunity to still yield so what that's saying is say you have walrus share in the um well what would it be if you had walrus share in the boardroom and then it you know, stop printing, we went below 1.01 .01 as we currently are, um, you can just make LP, or if you already had LP, you can just move it over to this new farm and still continue to get walrus if you're a long-term walrus holder. Um, and so that's it basically with the documentation. Of course, I urge you to go and read this documentation for yourself before you ever try investing in anything. Uh, I have an extensive list of documentation and I really do suggest it. Now, onto the DApp portion. Um, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. We're trying to match the new aesthetic of our new website that we're deploying, hopefully very soon. Uh, and of course, I have the icon of X Walrus here uh, that I do have to make into a prettier image. Uh, but pretty much the X Walrus interface is just this. We'll have a link on the local app. And then uh, it just gives you a warning about uh, it becoming illiquid when you do it. You'll put in your Walrus, walrus amount. And when this is actually connected to the contract, uh, one walrus will equal, and it'll tell you how much X walrus. Um, so it may be like one walrus is equal 0.95 X walrus, 0.2 X walrus, whatever it is. It'll show you that exchange rate right here. It'll also tell you how much X walrus you have. And then, of course, um, how much you'll receive based on what you put here in your wallet balance. Um, and then the other thing that wasn't really discussed but is a feature that we put in is a bounty system. So anybody that's on this, pretty much... There's four contracts that have been custom made and for the walrus from the reward contract or in the reward contract to get distributed to the walrus shareholders, uh, there's a function that has to be called. And rather than doing a gelato bot, which would do it automatically, we're allowing users to kind of claim a little bounty. So there, this could go up to like five or six walrus and then you can just claim it, pay the gas, and then you just receive that amount of walrus. Uh, so it's a little fun gimmick for, for users that want to get a little extra walrus. Uh, and then it saves, you know, the the protocol a little bit of gas. So um, that's it. That's the D app. It's as simple as it can get. You're going to have a connect on the top right. You'll be able to connect to your MetaMask, Wallet Connect, anything else. Uh, and it's a super simplified um, 
user interface for you. So I'm excited about X Walrus, uh, especially with everything with the PCP ending and so much Walrus hitting the market. I have high hopes that a lot of people will choose to go into X Walrus, but if they don't over time, we'll get that supply in here. Um, and then later on, uh, this is another portion that I want to speak about is what can we do with X Walrus, right? Uh, there's a couple of things. So obviously X Walrus will have its own farm, but it is illiquid. Uh, and when we have Glacier, our balancer decks, we are looking to, you know, find a way to make this liquid again by putting X Walrus with Walrus or putting X Walrus with W Share and Walrus in one big pool um, so that you can trade in between those tokens and it can have its own exchange rate, uh, probably based on the index value. Otherwise, there would be arbitrage. Um, and then uh, another cool lucrative thing that I thought about doing and some of the things we can do with this X walrus is maybe we make this print out of the boardroom so the walrus would print out of the boardroom um, and then the the contract would send it to mint into X walrus burning some of the supply instantly off the top and giving a user um, you know the the full value of X walrus uh, but cost the protocol 25% less walrus and then the user is able to stake that um, and then if you want to actually earn walrus you'll have to have walrus share LP which again is a bigger commitment, uh, but better for the protocol because that's what we're paying for is LP providing. Um, so there is a ton of gamified mechanics that we can use with an illiquid token like X Walrus. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of dive in and, and figure out what we can do with it. And I think that this will hopefully over the long term um, start helping um, reducing some of that supply so that we can get some uptrends and get some excess Walrus out of the market for people that want to take on this risk and get paid for it. Uh, obviously, the farms are going to be opening up, uh, and because X Walrus does take a risk, it may be slow at first, uh, which means early mentors will, of course, get a high EPR since there won't be as much X Walrus in there. Uh, and we'll start boosting that pool uh, for a little while just to get people engaged and stuff, and then we'll increase it over time as more X Walrus hits the pool. So that's it. That's it. That's the entire spill about X Walrus. I hope that I've kind of leveled it out so that you can understand it a little bit better. Uh, obviously, it's it's a complicated feature uh, when you look at it on face value, but hopefully after you've watched this video, you have a little bit of a better understanding of exactly what X Walrus can do for the ecosystem and also what it can do for you, and then mainly understanding the risk of X Walrus. Uh, and if I did, great. Uh, I appreciate everybody that was watching the video, and I will see you next time.